Pamela, what are the greatest advantages that women business owners or entrepreneurs in emerging markets have mm -hmm. at the moment? And similarly, what disadvantages or barriers mm -hmm. do they face that you believe need to be addressed and eliminated urgently? Thanks so much, Heidi. The first advantage I would say, and this has occurred actually on turbocharge in the digital world, COVID has literally transformed how trade happens. It's almost tripled the amount of digital trade. So digitalization actually is now the greatest advantage that women traders have. One, because it's online and therefore it lowers their costs their overhead costs, costs for physical space, for storage, they can literally operate from anywhere. On the disadvantage side, globally, what we found is one, access to finance. It is a recurring theme and it's something that we have to address. So what we do is we try to work with women to help them access finance, to put in place the kinds of mechanisms. One thing we found is most collateral that's requested is 125% of their business. 125%, nobody can afford that. The second thing is that they also are unable to meet some of the requirements for paperwork because so many of them are informal and they're small and they're not in the industries that require that kind of paperwork. So we want to try to also see how we can work with them to build up their capacity to get financing. What is your advice to women about what they can do in their businesses to increase their chances of yeah. gaining access to finance and investment? And here I mean advice that women can immediately yes. apply to right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so let me just give you a, a kind of outline of what we've done in the area of access to finance. Just uh, in 2019, we launched a She Trades Invest Care Fund with Bamboo Capital. And the idea was how do we link um, the, the, the lack of access to finance to capital um, providers and, and kind of create a space where women can get access to whether it's venture capital or other forms of capital. We also work with women to prepare them to make the pitch because most don't have that, right. you know what I mean? So we work with them through this to help them make it. And then we also work with financial institutions on the other side to also help them to become more gender you know, balanced. Yes, right. because there are things that you know, most financial institutions have a traditional approach. Mm. Bring the collateral, bring the piece of paper with the land. Most women are not on that piece of paper, you know? And this is a reality. So what we try to do is also work with the banking institutions to say, look, how do you facilitate a gender lens approach to what you do? So for women, the advice I'd give is the first thing, focus on the basics. Get your paperwork together. If you're going to go to people to ask them to invest, you kind of have to have a good argument. The other thing is to ensure that you are able to engage with partners and with organizations that can help you. So reach out, you know, whether it's to your own business support organization, whether it's to us um, through the She Trade Invest program. It's online. You can go on shetrades.com. You will find all of that. Um, and, and just ensure that you understand that there's opening there, there are people looking out for you, and that there's opportunity.